Hi, my name is Kent Lee and I teach computer science at Luther College. In this video we're going to be looking at uh, Boolean logic and how Boolean logic can be used in our programs. Uh, George Boole was an English uh, mathematician and philosopher who uh, did much of the initial work in the area of Boolean logic and it's in his honor that uh, Boolean logic is named. He's also considered one of the founders of computer science because Boolean logic um, is really the basis for modern computers that we have today. And it's uh, in his honor that we name one of the types in Python, which is the Boolean type or the Bool type. Um, we can see this in action if we take a look at uh, the Python shell here we can go ahead and uh, play around with Boolean logic a little bit just so we can get some ideas of what Boolean logic is all about. Turns out that uh, one of there are two values in Boolean logic, true and uh, false, and they are capitalized either true with a capital T or false with a capital F. Um, and true and false evaluate to true and false. Um, there are some operators that we have for true and false as well. So for example, uh, true um, or uh, false is true. So or is an operator between true and false. And uh, the same thing is true with false or true. False or true is true as well. Um, and there's an, there is a couple more operators. There is an and operator, so true and false is false, um, and uh, true and true is true. So for the or of two Boolean values to be true, either one or the other or both can be true. So for example, let me show you that false or false is false. Um, we've already seen that true or false or false or true is true. Um, and true uh, or true is true as well. We could put together a little truth table if we would like to to look at all of the different combinations of true and false for both and and or and um, and that would show us that uh, that um, for and e both values have to be true for the and of those two things to be true and for or, if either or, if either value is true, then the or of those two values is true. Um, the final operator is not, so not false is true, and not uh, true is false. So and, or, and not are three the three Boolean operators that we can use in our programs to uh, to um, operate on Boolean values, and the only Boolean values again are true and false. Okay, well this is somewhat interesting, um, but we it, we can use these in our program and uh, Boolean values in our program, and I want to give you an example here of how you might use uh, Boolean values in your program. So let's put together a program here that uh, will help us determine whether an 18-year-old uh, person needs to um, register for the selective service or not in the United States. So um, all 18-year-old males or almost all 18-year-old males are required to register for the selective service and um, we could write a program that would help us determine for any individual whether they have to register for the selective service or not. So I would start that by probably asking uh, somebody what their name is, and um, we could certainly go ahead and do that. What is your name? And that would be a nice thing to have, and a uh, nice piece of information to have in our program. And um, I think the next thing is probably to ask uh, um, what is the, uh, the gender of the person. Now I'm going to use um, this guess and check pattern I talked about in the last video in this uh, in this um, uh, program as well 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out by guessing that this person must register for the selective service. So I'm going to say must register um, is equal to true. So this is a Boolean value, and I can say that uh, this person must register. Um, and then I'm going to ask a question now. What is their gender? So uh, gender equals um, input. Um, please enter your gender. Um, and I'm going to put M or F. And then I can go ahead and say if gender um, equals uh, F, then I made a mistake in my, in my uh, uh, must register, so I'm going to change must register at this point. Must register equals false. So in this case, that person, if they're a female, does not need to register for the selective service. Um, there are other ways that you might not have to register for the selective service as well, and I'm just taking this from a website that uh, tells what the exep exceptions or exemptions might be. And um, so, for example, um, if you are in the United States on a uh, um, on a student visa, then you do not need to register for the selective service. So um, we might find uh, whether or not they are a non-citizen here on a um, on a student or visitor visa. So um, visa equals um, input, and we could go ahead and say are you here on a student or visitor visa? And we probably want to tell the user to enter yes or no. Um, and again, if uh, visa equals yes, two equal signs to compare for equality, one equal sign is for assignment, and you can see here I've used one equal sign right here to assign this visa variable a value, the value that I get from the input. Two equal signs are for comparison, so I want to compare visa to y, and if we're here, if the person is here on a student or visitor visa, then we're going to say must register equals false. We'll fix our guess again. Um, if that were the case. Um, it's also the case that if a person is in the hos is hospitalized um, either in a mental hospital or in a uh, in a hospital for some ailment or if they are um, if they are incarcerated they do not need to register for the selective service as well so um, we'll go ahead and find out hospitalized first are you hospitalized um, or uh, well we'll just say are you hospitalized yes or no And again, if we if they are if hospitalized is equal to um, yes, then must register again is equal to false. Okay, so we could continue this on as long as we needed to um, for whatever other number of conditions we might need to check. And then at the end of those, so there, is prob there are certainly more conditions um, to check that I am not giving you here. But once we are done with all of those other conditions, then we can go ahead and check to see whether this person must, re must register or not. So we could say if must register. And you notice here, must register is either true or false. So I'm not saying if must register equals true, because 
the thing that goes in the condition right here must evaluate to true or false and must register is already true or false. So I don't need to ask is this equal to true. It is either true or false and if it's true then I'm going to go ahead and print um, that you must register for the selective service. And else, I'm going to go ahead and print that uh, you do not need to register for the selective service at this time. So here is a situation, this is the guess and check pattern in this code, but it's a situation where we're using a Boolean value, um, a Boolean variable in our program, to start out making a guess that something is true or false, and then going ahead and deciding whether or not we made the right guess by doing our checks after that. We can do that by, uh, by setting that variable to the opposite of what our guess was, um, our checks are for things that are opposite of what our guess was, and then when we get done, we can go ahead and consult that, uh, that guess variable that holds that Boolean value to see what is the, the correct assumption about, uh, about whatever it is that we're trying to solve. Let's go ahead and run this just to see how it runs. Um, so we'll go ahead and, and uh, save this, and we'll just put it on our desktop again. For now, and we'll call this selective service dot pi. Make sure you always save it with a dot py at the end, and we'll go ahead and uh, enter some things here. So if I'm I'm uh, not here on a student visa and I'm not hospitalized, so I must register for the selective service. And of course, if I were somebody else, um, let's say Alice, and uh, I'm a female, and I'm not here on, and I'm not hospitalized, and I do not need to register for the selective service at this time if, if I'm a female. So we start out making an assumption about uh, something, in this case, whether we need to register, and then we check, make some checks after that. Uh, in regards to things that would contradict that guess and then we would set our our guess appropriately at that point so um, so this is the guess and check pattern again applied to um, applied to boolean values and uh, this might come in handy at some point in some program that you're writing